Hi, my name is Elise, and you're listening to Chatterbox Island English podcast. Hello, and welcome back to Chatterbox Island English podcast. I'm your host, Elise. As always, we're gonna chat about different topics in English on this podcast. So, in the last episode, we talked about the personality difference between dog people and cat people. So, if you're interested in knowing what the differences are, or if you own a cat or a dog and you want to know if the studies are accurate, you can go check out that episode if you haven't already. And if you want to listen to any previous episodes of this podcast, you can always click on any platform that you're listening to right now. So today's topic is kind of an interesting one. We're gonna talk about minimalism. And if you have been keeping an eye on any foreign shopping websites or any kind of foreign brands, whether it's clothing. Bags, watches, or makeup. You might notice that there are some holiday sales or collections already, even though it's only late September or early October. And it's mainly because the holiday season in the U.S. is coming. Like Thanksgiving is in November and Christmas is in December. So a lot of brands will come out with holiday sales or collections. I think even in Taiwan, some brands will do that too. And we also have Eleven Eleven Shopping Day, which is on November eleventh, and it's very much like the Black Friday sales in the U.S. So many people are planning on purchasing some stuff around this time of the year, whether it's buying gifts for friends and family or just getting some stuff while they're on sale. And I'm not gonna lie, I used to be the type of person who just bought something because it's on sale, and I even felt like I was saving money. But then I realized I just bought a lot of stuff that I can't even finish using or I don't even need. So, for example, I used to love buying makeup. I still do, actually. But whenever I went to a drugstore or I went shopping online, I always ended up buying lots of stuff that、um, it would take me forever to use them up. Which is why we're gonna talk about minimalism, 极简主义 Now I assume when most people first hear about minimalism, they think of arts or interior designs with simple lines, shapes, or colors. And while it is the origin of minimalism, it became more of a lifestyle or a mentality nowadays. There are no rules or criteria when it comes to being a minimalist. You don't need to buy minimalistic furniture or clothes, or only keep a certain number of things to implement minimalism in your life. It's less about owning fewer things and more about actively making choices on what kind of things that truly matter to you. So, if you want to implement minimalism in your life, the first step is to declutter. So, let's say you have a wardrobe full of clothes and shoes, and instead of buying more clothes that look minimalistic, just try to declutter the stuff that you don't need and keep the clothes and shoes that you actually do wear. Same with other things in your house as well, and that might sound easy, but it's actually really hard to do so. At least for me, I would say that I am a bit of a hoarder, and I often hold on to things purely for sentimental reasons and attachments, even though I know that I don't need or use them anymore. And as embarrassed as it is to admit it. I am a messy person. My room or desk is usually a mess, and sometimes when I really need to tidy things up, I find it really difficult for me to just get rid of things because I always think that maybe they will come in handy someday in the future, which is 99% not true. 
And I used to justify keeping these things because I thought it was wasteful to just throw them away. But now there are so many different ways you can donate stuff or simply just give them away to someone else. For example, I think many people already know that you can donate secondhand clothes. But you can also donate books or magazines because I remember seeing a bin for secondhand books donation in bookstores. Or maybe just search online and see if there are any nonprofit organizations that need any specific donations. And once you finish decluttering, the next step is, of course, to stop yourself from purchasing new things. And I think we've touched on this in the previous episode called "Does Shopping Make Us Happy?" But we mainly just talked about how to prevent、um, ourselves from impulse purchase, whereas minimalism focuses on only buying things for necessity. I think it's the direct opposite of consumerism, which emphasizes on having or possessing things. We make money so we can buy stuff. It's as if the more things we own, the happier we will be. But the mentality of minimalism is being free from the passion and desire to possess. And that sounds a bit counterintuitive to the lifestyle that we are so familiar with, because we are constantly being told to buy things or that we need certain things to make ourselves better. Whether it's、um, seeing a commercial on television or maybe just browsing through social media, we are constantly being told to buy this and buy that, and this is really good. And this is on sale or whatever. And of course, changing this habit is difficult, and it does not happen overnight. But you can always take small steps each day and make smarter purchases, or just think to yourself, "Do I really need this before you buy something?" So, what are the benefits of minimalism? The first one is less stress. So knowing that you have a bunch of stuff that you are probably not gonna use, or it's gonna take you forever to go through them, is an overwhelming feeling, and it's gonna be a lot harder to do a clean up when you have so many things. So having fewer things and practicing minimalism can help reduce the stress. The second one is more time. After you declutter the stuff that you don't need, maybe you'll find yourself not having to spend so much time on organizing and maintaining the things you own, and you can actually spend more time on something or someone that is truly meaningful and valuable to you. The third one is more possibilities. Now that you have more space, physically and mentally, you become more flexible with your time, energy, and productivity. And more importantly, is I think it makes you more aware of the choices you make. In my opinion, being minimalistic is like going vegan or becoming a vegetarian. There are no harsh lines or principles. It's more like a lifestyle that you choose. So for me, my goal now is to stop buying so many things and just try and practice being mindful and smart when it comes to purchasing something. And although I'm not trying to become a complete minimalist, I still want to implement the idea of minimalism in my life. So, what about you? Are you like me and you own a lot of stuff? Do you feel that owning many things makes you happy, or maybe you are already a minimalist? How do you implement the idea in your daily life? Feel free to share your thoughts or experiences down in our YouTube comment section, and I would love to know. That's all for today's Chatterbox Island English podcast. If you enjoy this episode, you can subscribe to our show on Anchor, Spotify, Apple, or Google Podcasts. 
You can also find our shows on YouTube and go on our website. That's triple w dot e island dot com dot t w for more information. I'm your host Elise, and I'll talk to you soon in the next episode. Bye.